He's the most visible face of the AI boom, Sam Altman. But with the success of OpenAI's ChatGPT, he faces a lot of public scrutiny. Is he pushing the boundaries of artificial intelligence too far, too fast? The meteoric rise in the controversy surrounding Sam Altman on Tech Titans. I don't ever give up. And, and I was human. I am human. You're going to see the future. Internet. It's from internet. Tech Titans. Samuel Harris Altman was born on April 22, 1985 in Chicago, Illinois. At the age of eight, he received his first computer, an Apple Macintosh. After attending a private school in Missouri, he studied computer science at the prestigious Stanford University, but he dropped out in 2005 after just one year. That did not stop him from being successful early on. At age 19, he co-founded his first company, Looped. The company's geosocial app allowed smartphone users to share their whereabouts with select friends. The first major investment in Looped came from startup accelerator Y Combinator. The U.S. company has helped fund businesses like Airbnb, Dropbox, Reddit, and Twitch, to name just a few. Altman joined Y Combinator on a part-time basis in 2011. In 2014, at age 29, he was named president of the company. And this was a crucial step for what happened next. In 2015, Sam Altman said, quote, I believe in the future, and to be a good investor, you have to believe in the future. He takes that belief quite seriously. At Y Combinator, he introduced Y Combinator Research. The nonprofit lab has so far conducted research on basic income, the future of computing and education, and building new cities. But his effort to help develop a better tomorrow doesn't stop there. In 2019, he co-founded Tools for Humanity. The company's latest endeavor is World ID, an online verification system designed to help counter online fraud. People who want a World ID need to have their eyes scanned to create a digital token, which is then used as proof of identity online. Participants are compensated with a cryptocurrency called WorldCoin, which is supposed to be safer than other digital currencies due to the elaborate verification process. Critics have raised concerns. Sam Altman wants to scan the eyes of every person in the world to register them and pay for it in crypto. Sounds quite dystopian for a supposedly philanthropic project. But let's put that aside for a moment. Even Altman's most successful project started out as a nonprofit. OpenAI was created with the intention of developing safe and beneficial artificial general intelligence. Nevertheless, when he couldn't raise enough money for OpenAI as a nonprofit, he restructured the company and dedicated one branch to the development of commercial services. A direct result of this decision? The release of ChatGPT in November 2022. It's widely regarded as a revolutionary AI tool. The chatbot had an estimated 100 million monthly users in just two months. As a comparison, Facebook needed around four and a half years to get to that milestone. Let's fast forward to now. Altman's current net worth is estimated to be between $500 and $700 million, but with economic success has come some pretty serious problems. OpenAI has been hit with several high-stakes copyright infringement lawsuits. AI chatbots like ChatGPT, but also image generators like OpenAI's DALI, need a lot of training data. By taking information from all kinds of sources online, the company is getting itself in trouble with copyright laws. So far, a group of authors, including best-selling writers like John Grisham and George R.R. R. Martin, have sued OpenAI for that reason. Data security watchdogs argue that OpenAI is not transparent enough when it comes to user data. Everything you type in while using ChatGPT is processed on servers to train and improve the AI, putting sensitive private data and also company data at risk. And even OpenAI's board feels left in the dark on Altman's plans. That's why they temporarily removed him as CEO. Altman, quote, was not consistently candid in his communications, they said. But he was reinstated as CEO just five days later. So there's clearly a lot of controversy around the person Sam Altman, a disruptive technology that's used by millions worldwide in the hands of a CEO who doesn't communicate transparently. Could we be in danger? Looking at some of Altman's statements lately, it doesn't appear so. He seems eager to stress that he's well aware of AI's dangers. He went as far as to say that releasing ChatGPT might have been, quote, really bad. What I lose the most sleep over is the hypothetical idea that we already have done something really bad by launching ChatGPT, he said in June 2023. He also warned that certain jobs will be wiped out fast by AI. 
quote, I think a lot of customer service jobs, a lot of data entry jobs get eliminated pretty quickly. He even signed an open letter that contained the much quoted sentence, mitigating the risk of extinction from AI should be a global priority alongside other societal scale risks such as pandemics and nuclear war. The open letter calls for strict regulation of AI technologies, a seemingly surprising step for an AI entrepreneur and investor. So is AI in safe hands with Altman? Or could these statements just be a tactical move to convince the public that its development and its regulation is best left to the experts? In other words, himself and OpenAI. What do you think? <laughs>